But I think I'm going to leave that knight alone for now. When you hear a spooky sound, it's a good idea to, uh... Head towards it. Oh, um... So nice. Maybe I just shouldn't be in this room. Is that a harmonica? A notebook. Oh, come on. Just go with kicks. Well, here, let's read this before we find him. Diary of Jeremy Hartwood September 27th, 1924 I have decided to keep this diary. Too many inexplicable events have taken place recently. Never have dreams so haunted my every waking moment. <laughs> Perhaps my romantic mind was too dull and has only now woken up to these new paths and visions. Some, seeing my recent paintings, may question my sanity. I can only ask them, what is sanity? Where does madness begin? September 28th. Okay, just a day later. September 28th, 1924. The night is pitch black. I am again drenched in sweat. I was wandering in the dunes, among giant standing stones. They were arranged in a circle, and the wind whistled about them. I plunged my hand into the soil and felt that repulsive thing which was trying to catch me. It seized me. I struggled to break free of its loathsome embrace and managed to tear my hand away. It was covered in sticky substance. I was gripping a knife. Hmm. So let's see. September 28th. Dunes, giant stone, circle, soil. Might be able to get a knife later somehow like this. October 5th, 1924. The stone circle is a pentacle. Der Seto's library is filled with books on the occult. I will study those books until I find some explanation for the dreams. The visions that haunt me must be connected to my discoveries. I shall have to undertake a profound exploration of my dreams. Dream journal. December 16th. Dear God, I have found the knife. It was hidden here, and what I have learned fills me with apprehension. It is a sacrificial dagger belonging to some unholy cult. The thought of that blade tearing through human flesh horrifies me, yet I must continue my research. Der Seto is a storehouse of treasures. Okay. Was my father right after all? January 23rd. I spend all my days plunged in dusty books. The servants are convinced I am mad. At night, I awaken them with my screams. The dreams are draining what sanity I still have. I have tried staying awake, but in vain. My visions have changed. No doubt the influence of my father's research. Kind of that dog to just wait for me to read this. February 7th, 1925. The Dark Man, that is what I call him, has revealed his true face to me. He appeared, as usual, near the fireplace. But this time, he approached me. Right. January 23rd. I sp his terrible smile will haunt me to my dying day. His breath was ice and his burning eyes froze me. I could not move. I know. 
as surely as I have ever known anything, that the face I saw, the face that has turned my nights into hellish torture, is the mask of death. March 10th. My exhaustion is beyond description. The endless reading burns my eyes. It seems that pirates frequented the area. Dr. Herbert insists I keep to my bed. I have moved to another bedroom and sleep much better now. The dark man has not gone, however. I know it. He will wait for as long as he must. Okay. Unless I, Jeremy Hartwood, can find a way to send him back to whatever hell he comes from. Our place, dark man. Sounds good. March 11th. My poor knowledge of Greek and Latin is a serious handicap to my reading. I have, nevertheless, made a great step forward. I drew the symbol on the floor. He can no longer go there. I want him to understand that I can do the same thing in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I can imagine his rage and frustration. Only last night he found his way back into my dreams. March 13th. The translation will seriously dent what money I have left. I cannot paint. My pictures are clearly the work of a lunatic. The collector Thornhill's embarrassed smile was proof of that. Yay. Yeah. March 29th. He has come back. He found the door to my dreams. I am too weary to attempt any defense. I have no strength left to fight, and he knows it. He considers me dead already. Could I possibly? March 30th. How ironic! The cave my father sought for so many years is here! Beneath the house! Wait, the butler discovered a crack in the cellar wall. A breeze blows in through it, icy and repugnant. I am filled with horror at the thought of my father dying in this place. Mm. Pretty good voice work, though. I will carry to my grave the vision of his face contorted in the agony of that fatal heart attack. <gasps> his body was twisted. He had wept. His fingernails were torn and bloody from scrabbling at the floor. Dr. Gray concluded that death had been due to a heart attack. It was Waits, who some time later was informed that my poor father had in fact bitten off his tongue and choked on his own blood. Gruesome, March isn't it? 31st. I explored the caverns in a dream. The dark man came with me. Strangely, I felt almost well. How can I describe what I saw? No. What words are capable of explaining such evil? I realized that my death was of no interest to him. The dark man wants something else. He seeks a body. His avid servants are now free. I am the cause. <laughs> it is almost funny. Now how do you do that? A curse is on Dersetto. From the foundations to the very rooftop, I can no longer struggle, let alone eradicate the evil that grips the house. The end is very near, I can feel it. I have taken the decision to... <laughs> May he who finds this diary pray for my soul. Peace be with you. Alright, let's take care of the doggy. Ah, uh, doggy. Uh oh. Oh, oops. Dang it. This is not a good fight. Huh. 
wonder how much else I had. Flask, which has that guy's name on it, Jeremy J.H. When was my last save? I'm just going to eat it. Just try to do better from now on. And die and have to start the whole game over. No worries. Is that bow really useless? Does it have no ammo? I suppose so. But the weird things I have to remember having is a flask. Why do I keep an empty keep the empty ca the empty first aid case, I don't know. Broken saber, saber blade. But the weird thing is the Indian cover. Alright, whatever. I wonder if that window's open now. Nah, they just had it appear in here. I wonder if that was JH's bedroom. Ah, uh, hey. Freaking heck. <sighs> That's not the right thing I was trying to do there. kind of silly. Alright, so seriously, is this possible? I just wasted my time. Oh, he's been hurting me this whole time. Feeling a lot of things are just not meant to be defeated. Can I skip this? Not really.
Okay. Let's see, let's see. To your attack, I go forward and... fight better. to that bathroom. I'm just going to try to pick up the flask and then get right out. I don't know what the deal with fighting all these things are, but some things just seem like they can't be beat. Just, no. What am I pushing? Do I have caps lock on? Oh, that's weird. I don't, but... We should go in that door, huh? I need to light it with flame or something first? Whatever. Guess I can't close the door. Hey there. Let's turn my back to whatever might be on the other side. Oh crud. 
Are they? <laughs> I think it was possibly homing in on me. Alright, you know, I'm gonna just check about that lamp. I would just want to know if I'm being dumb and don't know how to use it properly. So, I checked and it seems like uh, you do have to light the lamp. I just want to be sure I was somehow not not using it properly. I'd feel really dumb. This room is dark. Let's go ahead and get back into fight mode. Let's save after opening this scary door and leaving it open like a dummy. And try going out here again where we will surely die. Stupid painting. Did I try searching you last time? in on you. <laughs> Alright. So I wasn't imagining that. The dang thing homes in on you. Hello, ghost. You could just stay there. Whatever. not be down here just yet. Oh, did I go up on the other side? I guess so. Convenient way to get around that night. Hmm. Yes, turn your back to the spooky thing. Randomly gonna be carrying a gramophone, huh? Okay. Yeah. Photograph of Jeremy with his mace. Well, let's interact with the ghost and see if we die. <laughs> uh. 
wonder if it's gone. The answer is no. Did I actually fight that dumb thing? Maybe the trick is to not touch the ghost. How's that for a thought? can't close doors we've already you know we've gone through okay well let's try using this uh, lantern now That music gonna start up again. Alright, let's see. Firstly, save. Secondly, see if those cartridges are for the gun. Okay, the rifle is reloaded. And just in case, trying to test. Rifle, 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 where are you? Okay, so it's just eight shots, uh, eight bullets. It's not filling it to the max or something. Put these all in a weird order. Typing was delayed. Okay, so let's see how this uh, lamp works. Oh, I'm not holding space. Now I am. Is it using it? Using it? No. Does it automatically get used when I'm just in a dark room? Probably. Such an old game, you have to use your imagination. Okay.
great time for this to happen, huh? I don't want to leave anything in a dark room. Let's drop some stuff out here. I was able to pick up the book. Do I not have to get rid of uh, letters and stuff? That's weird. Last time it let me pick up the book, even though I was full. So every item does count. Alright. Let's go back in the bedroom and get rid of some things. I mean, we've already read it, so... Picking all this up gonna work. Okay. Exciting, guys. They are coming. I have freed hellish forces, and now the price must be paid. Well, somebody sort of wanted that letter. Maybe I should keep it. I don't have to, but... I'm assuming these keys are just for couple things I tried them on, but I'll keep them for now. Let's just do this. I was still able to search the uh, cabinet. And how come the... I think I saw a flame this time. Oh, you could barely see. It's like a couple pixels. A couple pixels tall. So where's this book? Throw, drop, and put. A Brightness from Afar by Lord Bolliskin, 
an account of his celebrated voyage to New England, 1824, Alistair Publications, Cambridge. Following a splendid journey, the sunny harbour came into sight. The locals were much impressed with one's arrival in their midst. One had time to sketch several of them and notice signs of degeneracy. Some children showed one their queer hands that would inspire uneasiness. Hmm. Upon the promise of a few coins, a child has undertaken to reveal to one a most prodigious phenomenon of a natural order. One admits to being skeptical as to the prodigiousness of the marvel, whatever it may be. Indeed, one suspects it to be little more than an evening stroll to some charming wooden hut situated in the forest hereabouts. One will nonetheless go, for it is always well to submit to such local enthusiasms. A, bright a Brightness from Afar by Lord... Upon one admits to being somewhat flabbergasted. The Milky Way shone like the fires of the apocalypse from the inky celestial vault. Certain distant stars, normally invisible to the naked eye, were clearly visible, glittering indeed with a strange intensity. The heavy clouds that had settled above the village had no hold over that place. It would be pointless to offer here the names of the constellations one perceived in utter clarity. Apart from the interminable length of such a list, one might conceivably risk being charged with exaggeration. It's true. You go somewhere dark, no, no uh, light pollution out in the rural, rural area where the forest, and you can see the stars a lot clearer. The cross cast its shadow on the ground. Unless it's cloudy. The sea in the distance was dead calm. Tonight, one will return to that spot and draw those stars. Tomorrow night, one will at last see Halley's Comet in all its brilliance. The youngster will carry torches, despite one's developed sense of direction. Honed by years of travel, one feels incapable of finding one's way through the dark forest unaided. Uh. Cross the stars, cross the stars. The drawings will, one is convinced, set light to the souls of men. Such a moon! One lost count of the craters, so sharply was their definition. Loath as one is to seem excessive in one's appraisal, one cannot but feel that the forest clearing is indeed a place outside the common laws of time and space. Surely it is not an hallucination. He really likes this place. How strange to consider that idle conversation some research in the British Museum and a voyage to this backward village should culminate in so astounding a discovery. It may be that others have noticed the extraordinary nature of that place. How else could one explain the presence of that cross? The cross. It would be the cross. Okay. Don't like that sound. All right, so do I go the axe way to the darkness or downstairs? Well, the axe way might be harder to... Well, I mean, I could see, see now because I have the light, but if I have to return back the same way, the axe will be waiting. Let's try going downstairs first. Um... Well, that's all my stuff left over there. It freaked me out for a moment. I need to leave a good save. Let's just call, let's make this one to A. Then we go through one, two, three, four, five again. Let's see, what first? The open door. What's 
just behind this door. I swear I'm going to open up a door and something bad will just be there instantly at some point. Does this door close from the outside? It's very strange how they handle the doors in this. And of course there's a window, so something's going to pop out at one point. Larder. Are those goals or something, or what's wrong? Oh. Come on. I got gotcha. you. Oh my god, he, he's so self assured. I'm doing the kicks because they reach further. It'd take longer to do though, but you don't need this guy getting into range, right? Is that it? Oh yeah. We'll see more oil, right? An oil can, an empty oil can. There's no room. Box of shoes. How the heck am I full up already? I don't know if that's how the match is now. Does this game go by weight? They're flickering. They're on top of each other. I kind of want to keep that flask, though. Might as well get rid of this book, even though we haven't solved the puzzle with it yet. Just cross, sea, forest, stars. I probably should get rid of these, uh... Broken saber blades and such soon. Hey, it's water. I drink it and die. Hmm. It's just stagnant water. Doesn't look like it got me sick or anything, though. I didn't heal either, so let's just go ahead and load in case something dumb comes of it. Oh, it's already full of water, huh? Double check and see if I'm pouring it out or something. Mm. 
No water. Here, let me pour water down it for no reason. Oh, cool. Very odd system where you have to open up things. I mean, it's just extra work for them. Six shots. that scary music would stop playing. Knife. Yeah. Another knife. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got knives. It's where they're going to randomly break too, right? Cuts you. Almost as good as that broken saber, isn't it? Can I dual wield? Nah. Music gonna start again? Sure is. What's that one spot on the table? It's a very suspicious spot, but I suppose it's just nothing. Another matchbox? gonna come soon. So much stuff. Now I have to fight a dog, right? Yet, I suppose. The lamp is already lit. That's all you're good for? Maybe. Well, let's drop uh, the older matchbox. Maybe it is a weight related thing. Maybe certain items don't count like matches weapons, who knows. This is getting silly. Maybe it's as I said, that's a weapon, so maybe it doesn't count.
How could I tell that it's human flesh? Did I lose some health for doing that? No. Well, thanks for that image. I think I'll leave it. I just wish I knew how inventory management really worked in this. Alright, so that's the kitchen. found a key though. But before we do that... sure I want to be down here. Especially if that cave is over here somewhere. Yeah, let's not do that just yet. Scary. Uh. Am I supposed to fight you, though, Jess? to fight you. <laughs> well, that was kind of dumb. So we are definitely uh, filling up on items here. Let's just drop whatever we can. management in games like this. I 
should see if I could just put that inside the, uh... The, um... Lantern. Okay. That's fair enough. bit annoyed I can't use this as a weapon. I mean, I know I could throw it, but... Okay, we'll just leave it like this for now. Save. And check. Well, let's use the key. So it's not needed to be in our inventory. the door to the dark pits of terror. Close it. And put the key here. Hey, we lost the key when we used it. Cool. Oh, there it is. All right, well, let's check this way. Is this going to go to the dining room? The answer is yes. They're still just chilling. That's good. We'll let them chill. Now, was this where I entered? I think so. May as well try the front door. I'm not sure. That was a good idea. <laughs> Jeez, what the heck? Okay.